gentlemen, you're listening to Viva ANT. We're broadcasting live from the Tacoma Dome this beautiful Saturday morning. Beautiful. I'm here with uh, Brad Buckles, the owner of the Wedding Expo. I'm Johnny the Capo. I'm the owner of Viva Productions, and we're here to talk to brides and grooms and the line today. And our first bride is bride to be. Yes. Sabrina. Yes. So yep. Sabrina, you are here at the Wedding Expo, and you are looking to meet and maybe hire some vendors today is that correct absolutely yep we're catering um the venue pretty much anything you can think of we're looking looking for so today. you haven't uh, you haven't made any decisions yet <laughs> no and what is your waiting date um august 19th 2017. August 19, 2017. well she's smart because she's shopping early right brad yeah yeah brad do you have any questions for sabrina actually we have a gift we have for all okay. the brides that are here early all the brides that are listening right now, this is a free set of matching wedding bands. Oh! This is a very specific certificate that you use online. There's a particular code on back that's unique. So when you go online, you pick the certain kind of ring, the size, the style that you like, of about 125 different choices. And those are free, complimentary for being here early. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, thank you so much! So, so you're here to meet caterers, DJs, photographers, mm -hmm. everything. Well, that's good. Yep. Thank you for being on Viva ENT. Great. You're, you're here today, and I bet you're kind of excited to be here just because of all the stuff going on today. Absolutely. What are you looking for? Are you still looking for everything? Nope. We are looking for a florist. Okay. We're looking for some bridesmaids dresses. Cool. We're looking for um, maybe a videographer. Very good. Yep. So, so, so basically, and what is your wedding date? September twenty fourth. And is that a Saturday? Yep. And your venue? Mom and Dad's house. Oh, I like Mom yeah. and Dad's house. Yeah. Yeah. Where did Brad go? Did he? Okay. Uh, he, he's he's supposed to come here with the with the with the gifts and stuff. So you're you're excited to be here? Yep. Everything is going good. Absolutely. Good. I, I, and uh, this. <laughs> so basically. Uh, I'm going to have Brad come back and give you your gift. Thank you for being on the show. Caitlin, Thank you so right? much. Kayla. Kayla. That's close. <laughs> Who's on? And your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. This is Jennifer, ladies and gentlemen. She's here. We're live at the Tacoma Dome. And Jennifer, what are you here for? I'm just finishing up. We're almost done planning. So okay. we're just looking for some final touches and new ideas. Have you hired most of your vendors? Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your venue? Um... Walker's Paradise out oh. in Ravensdale, Washington. Okay, yeah, I, I'm familiar with Ravensdale. Been out there a couple of times. So, uh, so you got everything pretty much booked, and your date again is August sixth. August sixth, which is a set. 2016. Okay, cool. So it sounds like you're all set. So you're coming in to to uh, finish up the final touches. Yep. Very cool. Thanks for being on the Thank show. You. Bye bye. Who wants on the radio? What's your name? Voluntarily Naka. Are you the bride? I am. <laughs> and your name again is? Naka. Naka, okay, cool. The bride, is here. the bride is here, yeah. That's correct. So, what's the wedding date? Uh, March 25th, 2017. 2017. And, and you have a venue yet? We do, Monte Cristo Ballroom in Everett. Oh, very good. That's a lovely place. Been there many times. And are you looking for any v particular vendors today? I'm florist. Come in and check out anybody that has a nice floral arrangement. Florist, anybody else? Yep, uh, and photography. Oh, photography. Well, you got to stop by my booth. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I gave you my card. What a, what a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> yeah, Monte Cristo is a nice place. Perfect. Know it very well. Well, thank you very much for being on. Natalie, what are you here for today, dear? Uh, my wedding. I know, but I mean, <laughs> any a, any any vendors in particular you're looking for? Uh, no, we're looking at everything. I'm newly cool. engaged. Oh, so, so you you have a date yet? Yes, I have a date in a venue. That's it. You have a date in a venue. What is the venue? Uh, Trinity Tree Farms. Oh, in cool. Mexico. Yeah, I I know it very well. Yeah, no problem. So, you're here and you are still looking for just about everything. Yes. DJs, photography. Yes. Florida, everything. Dress. Everything. So you came to the right place, that's for sure. Yeah. So thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Great. So we're, we're at the Tacoma Dome getting ready to go into the Wedding Expo. What are you still in need of? 
Let's see, I need uh, Flores. Cool. The person behind me said everything. It's kind of true. Is, is she your coordinator? <laughs> yes, they help me. She, she gives me directions every day. Did you look to this? Go look at this. So oh, very she cool. She, very, she helps me out a lot. So uh, Flores, we're still looking at catering, DJ. I mean, I have some people in mind, but I still want to look around. Oh, good. Well, you got my card, right? And this is your coordinator? These are both two coordinators. You got two coordinators. <laughs> These are my SWs, both of the coordinators. SWs? Sister wives. you for husband? for the husband. you That is That's absolutely <laughs> unique and cool. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for being on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live at the Tacoma Dome today. You know, the we the wedding expo is really the great opportunity to meet prospective clients. And the, and the good thing is that you get to talk to them, you get to look at them straight in the eye, and you build a rapport. They either like you or maybe they don't like you, and if they don't like you, they can move on. But if they like you... There's a good chance that, you know, you, you, they may book the Hilton. You know, it's like one of the most important parts. I think that some people come to the wedding show to look to get ideas, and some people come because they know what they want. Correct. So if you're not there, if you're not present, if you're not connecting with them, then what's the point, you know? Um, I really think that it's coming to these shows are really important. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <laughs> and I think that... Having it in Tacoma and having it in Seattle, those are really big cities. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you know, the Seattle Hilton, a lot of people don't realize what a great venue that really is. It's really great. We, have, we just newly renovated it. So I know. The, top, the top has a spectacular view of the Puget Sound and, and the entire Seattle skyline. It's a great place to have a venue for your wedding. And the chef is marvelous there, too. Chef, Chef Lloyd. Yeah. He's marvelous. He, we have a spectacular menu, but he is also great with working with different clients and kind of catering to what they want and kind of getting more things in from the Seattle area with fresh ingredients and making a good menu for you. And that, and that room upstairs... Uh, uh, the what, what, what's that called? The sky top or the, the sky? top of the Hilton? Top of the Hilton. The top of the Hilton. Yep, and it's like I said, it has a spectacular view of the city, and it has a unique view of the city. A unique view. Mm -hmm. It is not obstructed by many buildings. You can see the water. You can see everything. You can see the Space Needle. That <laughs> that that that's the really cool part about it. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. So um uh. So you, this is your first show with us, then, correct? Here at the at the at wedding the Tacoma, expo at the yeah. Tacoma one. Oh, okay. um, Yeah, I had the my first opportunity at the Seattle show. So. Oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. That was nice. I, I, yeah. So, uh, so you're going to be here uh, today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. Uh, tell uh, our listeners how they can uh, touch base with you at the Hilton. Uh, the website and all that, and all and all the stuff they need to know. Okay, so you can see us here at the Tacoma Wedding Show. We'll be here all day um, until four o'clock, and then we'll be here again at ten thirty to four o'clock. And you can visit our website and get a, a feel for our venue space that way. Then you can connect with our sales manager, Justin Anderson. Or you can connect with myself if you just call the Hilton and ask for Debbie, the sales and catering coordinator, or Justin, the sales manager. Now, I know that everybody that walks by the booth today are going to love the two of you because you're, you're, all, you're all jazzed up. You're looking good. <laughs> and you got that great personality. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being on Viva ENT. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, who do we have here? Cakes by Evelyn. How Cakes you doing? Cakes by Evelyn. I'm doing let me, right. let me make sure you got the right card there, Cakes by Evelyn. Well, this you card did. right here. Okay, cool. Oh, perfect. Go so ahead. is this, uh, I, I don't know if I know you or not. Do I? No, actually, uh, we're a brand new business. Cool. We just started in December. I've been making cakes for five years. It was just oh, time to gosh. quit my job. and. You quit your job, and I, now you're making cakes for I time. quit my job, and now I'm making cakes. And it, sometimes it's scary, but it's been a lot of fun. I met a lot of really neat people. It sounds like it. Do you have um, any uh, type of specialties that you do with the cakes, uh, or, is, or is it just uh, wedding cake and that type of thing? 
Um, we do wedding cakes, birthday cakes. Uh, we do all kinds of uh, retirements and things like that. Office parties. Oh, cool. So we kind of do cakes just everywhere. You know, I like the uh, cakes with Evelyn. That, that's a cool little name. Thank you. Yeah, because my mom's name's Evelyn. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what a neat coincidence. That is a neat coincidence. <laughs> and is this your associate here with you? Yes, her name's Malia, and she's, you know, she's really great. She's been with me since the beginning. So. Great. So, uh, so how long have you been going now? Uh, we started business in December, so we're just So a you're really new, a new business. Yeah, brand you're new You're smart baby to do the Tacoma Wedding Expo. I thought so. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, you're going to get... Um, a chance to meet a lot of people here today, and when you do and you click, that that's when they hire you. I've met a lot of great vendors already, and it hasn't even opened yet. Try not to get my side profile. <laughs> <laughs> so, Evelyn, the cool thing is today you are going to meet a lot of people that like you and, and probably are going to even book you maybe on the spot. You know, so uh, uh, I was telling uh, Debbie from the Hilton earlier that one of the best things about doing the show is that they get to meet you. You shake hands with them. You look at them in the eye. You know, if they like you, cool. You know what I mean? If they don't like you, then they could keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how that is. My dad was an entrepreneur for a while. and No kidding. Yeah, and so uh, he's he does a lot of trade shows with, uh, with what he does. He's a contractor. Oh, my. And so he was said, oh, you should do a really big show. Yeah. You'll get a lot of business almost instantly. So. Don't forget that we have this show in September, too. Yes. And we also have it in January. Yes. So we do three shows a year at, at the Tacoma Dome, and it's a pleasure having on having you on the show. Tell our listeners how they can get a hold of Evelyn at Evelyn's Cakes. Well, you can visit our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Evelyn the Cake Lady. Evelyn the Cake Lady. Evelyn the Cake Lady. That's Evelyn the me. Cake Lady. Um, you can also go ahead and give me a call at 253-227-4299. Um, you know, I look forward to talking to everybody. And I, it's, it, was a, it was a real pleasure to have you on the show. Yeah. And a pleasure to meet you. You know who I am, right? Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Now you do. I got introduced over there, well, kind of from yeah, a distance. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Evelyn, and, and thanks to your associate, too. Yeah, no problem. Thank okay, you. Thank you for being on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the Tacoma Dome. I'm here in the Viva Productions booth. I'm Johnny the Capo, host of Viva ENT, and I'm here interviewing one of um, Viva Productions not one of the star photographer Thank you, for uh, Viva Productions, Mr. Leo Silch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leo, what's happening, handsome? Well, we're uh, chugging on down towards the wedding season, getting ready. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous year. Uh, it's great shooting weddings year after year. With each year, there's uh, uh, new technology, there's new uh, tradition, there's new uh, sites, there's new venues, there's new food, there's new caterers. It's wonderful to be shooting. Oh, great, great, great. Um, you know, um, uh, the uh, thing is, you know, um, when you're meeting with brides here at the show and they start asking you a lot of questions uh, and, um, you know, you want to give them a comfort zone because a lot of times they ask a lot of questions because they just don't know, you know, how, how to go about booking a wedding I photographer. I would say most uh, uh, brides haven't been married before. This That's is a first-time right. trip for them. This is a first-time step out into the... So uh, the, the key, I think the key ingredient to, uh, uh, for me to tell them is find someone with experience. Right. Experience. Is, uh, uh, fortunately for me as a photographer, traditionally the wedding photography business pretty much has stayed the same. It's traditional. Uh, on the upside... Experience comes to hand. It, it comes to light. It's really, really helpful to have the experience. Uh, that's what I want to get across to any protected bride, that uh, experience really is the uh, go-to. Um, uh, uh, well, you know, experience is the word, and, and, and I, I know exactly what you're saying. It's nice to know that you have an experienced photographer because what happens when you get to a wedding is that no one, everybody kind of gets frazzled and people forget there is a bit of an organized situation when it comes to shooting the pictures. That's right. Tradition. So, yeah, tradition plus, you know, you do the family formals, you mm-hmm. do the bride and groom, 
there's a certain order to go by. That's right. And if you stick to that order, you're going to get all the shots that you need. Absolutely. Uh, and if you start trying to break up things and, and uh, get uh, messed up, then things get messed up. That's not to say if time allows, you can do some fun stuff, creativity right. stuff. Uh, but most weddings today are certainly under a time pressure. And they want to get as many pictures with as many friends and family and many of the events uh, as many of the ceremonial parts as they can. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's great to have, and I'll tell you the truth, it doesn't happen very often, everybody on time. Right. Uh, my suggestion to many brides is tell your participants 15, 20 minutes, half hour earlier than should be. Exactly. So that they're ready to go. Also, when it comes to the formal pictures, you want the key people to be in position and not... Uh, 10 miles away, stuck on traffic. Absolutely. I also talk to the bride and the bride's maids, particularly the maid of honor, and I ask the bride to delegate some authority to the maid of honor so that she, the bride, isn't so busy answering all the questions, looking for all the lost this. Where's the uh, uh, bouquets? Where's the flowers? Where Give some of the responsibility to her maid of honor. And that goes through with the groom, too. Give him some to the best man. Take a little bit of pressure off yourself for that day. <laughs> Absolutely. It helps me because the bride's got all kinds of people talking to her at one time. On the other hand, the, the maid of honor, she might have a little free time to say, oh, yes, this is the bride's bouquet. This is the bride's parents. This is where we're going to have this. It's great that those two people, the groomsmen or the bridesmaid, um, the bridesmen and the um, uh, best man know some of the information on the day. That's absolutely correct. And, um, you know, we got people starting to come in right now. Um, you know, uh, another thing uh, with you, Leo, is um, your, uh, your beautiful wife uh, works with you. Absolutely. It's a great asset, a great plus. Uh, I found over the years that uh, women are a little bit more open, a little more responding to another woman. It's just that simple. Yeah, that's uh, correct. And, of course, my wife can go in while the, the, the bridesmaids are all getting prepared, much easier than I can. Uh, I think that the, the, the brides are a lot more at ease. And so it's just like a little cushion. And she takes great pictures. She has a lot of fun, and so do we. <laughs> yeah, she does. And she looks great doing it. Yes, she does. She just, we have a, it's a, it's well, a great uh, time. Leo, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Johnny. This is Johnny. We're back here at the, live at the Tacoma Dome. I'm with one of my favorite guys to work with and one of my favorite photographers. Now I'm even going to have Leo, my star photographer, talk to you, photographer on photographer. That's kind of cool, huh? Super cool, and I'm so happy to be here with you, Johnny. I truly appreciate this opportunity. You are a magical, awesome person. Thank you. I'm ready to talk to my photog friend right now. Okay, cool. Now, Grant... I don't know how to pronounce your last name, and I've known you for years. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's Horiuchi. There you go. That's yeah, it's a tough combination. It's a tough combination. I'm part Swiss and part Japanese. Oh, isn't that, isn't that cool? Yeah. So it sounds like I'm Italian, but it's actually Japanese. It's yeah, Horiuchi. I was, I, I was always trying. How do you pronounce that name? <laughs> anyway, here's Leo, and uh, this would be an interesting interview because I have two photographers with two, you know, two great photographers. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. So tell me, uh, what got you into wedding photography? Well, I'll tell you, Leo, when I was younger, I've always loved photography. And the best thing about wedding photography is I get to interact with clients that have never been photographed since their senior year. So it really enables me to, to uh, just enjoy my process of photography, enjoy new clients, and have a fun time because weddings are the funnest time of people's lives. I couldn't agree with you more, and I, you just nailed it on the head. The uh, photography in itself is a great technology, but to incorporate people and bring them into it, it and creativity, it's just wonderful, wonderful. So on the technical side, what kind of cameras do you use? Well, I use all top-of-the-line Canon cameras. I use uh, D1X, D, all that kind of stuff with all these fancy L lenses. So I'm double, I got triple cameras on the whole time. So I'm able to shoot telephoto as far as wide. Everything's high resolution, and I just keep upgrading my equipment as technology improves. Now, that means to say that you probably went from film, analog, over to digital? Well, Leo, I'm kind of an older guy, so yes, you could call me a dinosaur in some ways. That I did start off with film for the first 20 years of my career, and the last 20 I've been shooting digitally. 
Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. Same thing, I've done the same thing. I went from medium format Pentax over to the digital side. Well, I don't know if our clients out here can really understand how expensive all that film camera was back in the day, and now it's uh, not really worth as much, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, the thing I found that was really ironic over the years was that I used my film cameras for years without, quote-unquote, upgrading them. Digitally, I've had to upgrade my digital camera probably three times in the past five, six years. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how the shutters after 200, 300,000 uh, aperture uh, uh, shots, you need to redo your shutter. And the technology. I mean, the size of the, uh, the uh, uh, pixels and all that such. I mean, when it first started, it was like, oh, barely, barely up to what a negative would get you. Now, it's superior. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how technology keeps getting better and better. And uh, you, you would think that the price, the, the, the amateur cameras uh, are getting less expensive, but our pro cameras are yeah. still pretty pricey. Yes, and have to upgrade them every so often. But nevertheless, I recall, as we probably do too in the old days, I used to carry three cameras, one with a wide-angle lens, one with a long lens, and one with black and white film. Nowadays, one little baby. Yeah, still, I, I, I still go with the double cameras on me just because I my telephoto lens is so strong and my wide angle is so wide. Sure. And so I still go with double. Plus, it makes me look cooler. Yes. Now, when you shoot a wedding, do you have a uh, preconceived uh, plan? Do you have a, uh, in your head, what order you're going to go in at? Well, that's a good point because I shoot every week, okay? And so each client, when it's their week, it's almost like I'm preparing for a Seahawks game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll look at their, I'll look at my clients on Monday and I'll decide what I need to do and I'll think about them throughout the week. They give me a worksheet that kind of explains what their, their wedding's going to be about. So I think about it all the way until game time. But I really think about your week, your wedding the week of. Mm -hmm. Terrific, terrific. The, uh, do you shoot alone? I do. I'm a one-man show. Occasionally, I'll have an uh, assistant with me, but usually mm -hmm. I, I can handle it. I'm a pretty energy kind of guy. Cool, cool. Let me uh, bring up another subject, kind of related to photography. Videography. We get approached, I'm sure as you do, uh, all the time about, hey, who's a good videographer? I recall it wasn't, well, let's say it was quite some time ago when videography, to me, I think, peaked. We don't see many videographers anymore. Well, I think the one thing issue that people have right now is is so much time editing, and I think a lot of people get out of the business. There's only a few that have been along as long as, long as we have. Yeah. Most guys are in and out because it's so difficult to edit so much film. Yeah. Post-production, exactly. It's yeah. very time-consuming. Uh, how do you handle people, and this is a great question, with all their cell phones today, with all the coverage by all the audience, all the participants, all the people, how do you handle that? Well, I love photography, and I love people taking photography. And the, one of the biggest fa or stats lately is the last three years, 97% 98 of all photographs have happened in the last three years of all of lifetime. Wow. So when we were shooting, we were the only guys on the block shooting, and now everybody shoots, and I'm down with it. But the thing is, is what separates me and you be before everybody else that is an amateur is we have the eye, we have the personality, we have the experience, and we have the knowledge, and all that encompasses into us being a professional. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. I got one more question. What do you got for me? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, how much longer are you going to be shooting weddings? Well, you know, I've got four kids that are that all are very smart, and they want to be educated, and they want to go to college, and most of the, my youngest one is only 10, so I know I'm in for 20 more years. Wow, good for you. I'm going to be there with you. Thank you, Leo. Hey, thanks thank for, you for your time. You are awesome. Okay, we're handing it back to Johnny. Grant, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being on the show, pal. Johnny, anytime, and I hope my audience enjoyed my, my conversation with Leo. And Johnny, once again, you are absolutely amazing. If anybody needs anything, come on over to Viva Productions. That's right. Thanks, Grant, my man. Thank you. I love you. Love you too, brother. <laughs> Thank you the well, he's pretty energetic, uh, Leo. Yeah, a lot of experience, uh, a lot of similarities. Yes, and, and, Went from and that's film exactly... To digital. Uh, been shooting weddings for over 25, 30 years. Won't say how long. Uh, <laughs> have a lot of fun at it. Each one is different. Uh, and experience is really the key. Really the key. Knowing the, the flow, the, the players, uh, the procedure, the protocol. It's just a lot of fun when you have that all down and you can just concentrate and have a good time with the bride and groom. Yeah, and also I thought it was a good idea to have a photographer interview a photographer. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Really not really on my on my part, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you demand. You demand, John. Because you know, I, I mean I know photography but um, uh, I don't really 
know what you know, that's for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, but we've both been around the block. Now, here comes uh, our good friend, Jessica. Hello, hello. Yeah, and she has a, a, she's here at the Tacoma Wedding Expo today. Yes, I am. And your company is? I am with Pure Romance now. Mm. No kidding. Yes. Um, January, the, uh, right after the wedding show, Passion right. Parties and Pure Romance actually merged together and uh, became one big happy company. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, me and um, my friend Aaron were sitting here and we're having a whole bunch of fun. We actually just flew in last night from Orlando, actually this morning no kidding. from Orlando. So we're a little jet lagged, a little tired, but yeah. you know what? We are here. We're rocking it. We have all the brand new products um, on the table and here to, ha you know, just have some fun. You look great. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Considering you're uh, traveling all over yeah, the world. Yeah, two hour delay on the tarmac yesterday oh, from Orlando man. to Colorado oh, man, for my oh, day. There's huge thunderstorms and just everything. I was so stressing that we weren't going to get here in time, but you know, we got here. We're we're doing it. We're this is our first pure romance wow. wedding show as pure romance. But we've Very been cool. doing this stuff for God six years. Yeah, you know, at, us together, but in the show for fourteen. I, I've so. known you for for all, for all that time for exactly, sure. Exactly, exactly. So, so do you have any specials going on today? Oh in my your goodness, booth? I have so many different specials. It's you literally buy two, get one free, do this, do that, book a party, I'm gonna give you fifty bucks and free stuff. You just come on down, come see us, we'll hook you up because this is what we do and we just we're here to have fun. Yeah. You are and your and your uh, booth is uh it's got a lot of special special stuff in it. Oh, yeah. We got a little bit for everybody. Some lotions, some massage stuff, some flavors, and some stuff that we had tied underneath the table. Quite unique for the wedding at expo. Exactly. Exactly. So um, why don't you tell our listeners how they can um, get a hold of you? And you're going to be here today and tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to be here today and tomorrow um, the whole entire time. So they can get a hold of me. They can either call or text me. Cool. My phone number is 253-670-0735. Or you can actually go online at pureromance.com and then backslash Jessica Pagan, P-A-G-A-N, 161508. Very cool. So, and I'm, I'm there. So, yeah, come on down. Come have fun. We got all the new stuff. We got a little, little extra goodie if they say that they hear us on the radio, and I'll, I'll hook them up. All right. All right. <laughs> so, you, you hear that, folks? If you tell, tell them they heard, you, <laughs> heard, heard about this um, Viva EN team uh, with Jessica, she's got a special prize for oh, you. Oh, yes. I got something that definitely buzzes through the night. And this show actually is not going to broadcast till 1 o'clock today. Hey, that so works. So, anybody's out there listening, come on down to Wedding Expo. Come down and see Jessica at the Pure Romance booth. Come and see me, Johnny the Capo, at the Viva Productions booth. We're here to sell. Yes, and I'm literally just right across the, right on the other side of you. And so. we got the deals. Yes, we all have deals. Deals, deals, deals. You got deals on your heels, baby. <laughs> there you go. Yes. All no. right. Can't wait to see you guys. Oh, I'll be there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Bye. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Tacoma Wedding Expo. We're back. This is Brad Buckles with BridesClub.com, and I've got a new friend with me. Take a moment and introduce yourself. My name is Stacy Bryant. I'm with Ken Walker Jewelers from Gig Harbor. We are at the Tacoma Dome right now. We'll be here today and all day tomorrow. This is not your first bridal show. No, not by any means. But there are some things that kind of consistently happen at bridal shows every time. What are, uh, what are some of the trends that you see with jewelry and with diamond rings? You know, we're seeing a trend to unusual, which has been absolutely great. We do a ton of custom, so by doing that, the brides are actually able to design what they want from their special day all the way through to their ring. So it's like a designer ring? It is, okay, yeah. Okay, but it's their design. It's their design. We wow. just draw a picture of it and make it. And so for those of us that don't know how this works, how much more is that, or is it about the same price? You know, it's really not too terribly much more to do. Okay. So um, you're really getting a good quality piece, and that's where your value is. And you're getting what you want. Exactly. So talk to me about men's rings. Uh, men's rings. It's incredible what we're doing with men's rings now. We have pretty much any type of performance metal you can think of, as well as precious metals. Precious metals are starting to resurge, so we're seeing a ton of guys that want the real thing. 
Um, and then they want custom too. So whatever they want to make, we'll just make it. So I've heard that yellow gold is coming back. Hugely, okay. hugely, and we're seeing a strong trend towards rose gold as well. Rose gold. Yeah. That one I've never quite, my wife loves rose gold. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rose gold, but I like yellow gold. Yeah. So what about bracelets and various different uh, mementos that they get on their special day? You know, with bracelets, they're great. They're a great way to go ahead and give a gift to bridesmaids, um, something engravable that they're able to keep which is fantastic. Also, you know, a bracelet is something that goes with pretty much any outfit. Anniversary gifts? Uh, you know, there's a ton. There's guys' gifts from knives and watches and uh, rings. I'm women's. a big fan of your knives, as oh, you yeah. know. I, I have <laughs> knives. Um, what's, um, tell me about that piece that I ended up buying for my anniversary. It's kind of a, uh, I can't even oh, explain it. Uh, the map. Yeah, the map. So um, that's actually made by A. Jaffe. They will go ahead and make a map of anywhere in the world. Uh, it is a charm, a pendant, whatever it is she's more likely to wear. And they actually will put a little diamond right at that special spot for you. So to give you the backstory, guys, I ended up <laughs> buying this for my 25th anniversary where I proposed to my wife in front of a tree that was really important to her or sentimental at a park and tried to go back and buy the dumb tree at the park, and that didn't work. <laughs> so you guys ended up putting it on a, oh, I'd say a memento, a, maybe a charm, a fairly yes. good-sized charm. Yes. Diamond right where the tree was and this big little thing on it and made her day. Like yep. she's wearing it today, in fact. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, she I has a that. diamond next to it, and then she has that. So it's one of her favorite pieces. You know, pieces like that are fantastic because there's a story behind it. Oh, yeah. And that's really the big thing with jewelry is the sentimental story that it represents. And it's so not something that I would have ever thought to find. So when you brought it <laughs> right. up, I'm like, that's unique enough. That's it. I, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. So tell us uh, how we get in touch with you. Uh, well, we're located in Gig Harbor, Washington. Okay. So we do have our website, which is KenWalkerJewelers.com. Okay. Uh, you can get a hold of us on the phone, 253-851-6516. Okay. And we also have our Facebook page. Which is? Uh, just Ken Walker Jewelers. Ken Walker Jewelers. All yeah. right. Everybody come see us and uh, go visit Ken Walker Jewelers. Thank you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Buckles with BridesClub.com. Back to the Tacoma Wedding Expo. I am here at the Dome with a very good friend of mine. We've known each other for years. Give me a big introduction. My name is Carl McRae, uh, recently promoted to the regional manager in the uh, men's warehouse stores across the Seattle area. You're like the big dog. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> what that means for everybody is he sells suits. Yes, sir. He sells shoes. He sells people. He sells everything. Absolutely. Definitely. We met years ago when you were at uh, Puyallup. I've, I've sold Brad. <laughs> yeah. I'm all men's warehouse. Yes, she is. Head to toe, baby. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. Looking thank you. Um, so for guys that don't know a whole lot about fashion, or maybe they just want to get a tuxedo, I mean, what? Uh, help me out. Come to men's warehouse. Okay. I mean, we, we give, uh, you know, head to toe service, shirts and ties. We measure up. We, uh, we give you a nice consultation. It's a process, you know. Uh, come to the wall, go to the table, look at colors, and just make sure it works for whatever occasion or event you got going on. So do so. you need an appointment to walk in? Not really. I mean, okay. uh, you can just walk through our doors. We always have people willing to help, you know, greeting you with great world-class customer service. But uh, uh, appointments are, you know, a part of it as well. I mean, then you can get that, that ex exclusive one-on-one -on -one service. So either way, but uh, we'll take your business, so. So for the guy who knows a little bit more about fashion, he actually knows and cares maybe about what he's wearing. You got those custom cut suits, man. The, That's right. The Joseph Abood. Yeah, we're all the That's way. That's my favorite thing. That's uh, awesome, man. Our new program is amazing. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about that. So we're uh, Joseph Abood. Um, he's a part of our program now. He's just exclusive to Men's Warehouse. Joseph works for you? Joseph, uh, he works with us. How about that? <laughs> so anyway, you can come in. You get a, either a Joseph Boot custom suit, 21-day uh, turnaround. Uh, we got a new Joe program, which is very affordable, 395 bucks. I've yeah, heard about it's that. Sweet man, it's nice modern cuts. Uh, pick several swatches out that'll look good that we don't have on the wall. You can pick it out through the Joseph or, or Joe custom program, as well as our new uh, Joe shirts. Man, it's going to be awesome. You can come in. We've got about 150 swatches and new dress shirts. 
pick out your style, your collar, monogram, your cuff, or your, your shirt pocket. Sounds like I'm about Rocking. ready to go shopping. I see you smiling. <laughs> All right, the one thing that I've always liked about Men's Warehouse is your shoes. Oh, yeah. You guys great have selection. great shoes. Yeah, great selection. Casual. Casual, dress, it, you whatever. And Men's Warehouse has come a long way over the last several years in bringing in a very, very casual line as well that's kind of hip. You dress it up, you dress it down. We got your resort casual, your business casual, dress casual, dress it up, take the tie off got casual. Got the linen suit. Linen that's suit. That's my favorite suit. Comfortable, <laughs> styling. <laughs> A little nice and professional, but a lot of casual and fun. Absolutely. So one of the biggest things that I didn't know about, but of course we talk a lot about today, is your um, color matching technology with David's Bridal. Well, you know, it just taps into uh, putting it all together, you know. Yeah, but Uh, for a guy who doesn't know how important that is and doesn't realize that his bride is actually picking out a significant shade or color that she really wants... You can go in and actually get your vest or your tie or whatever it is. Matches match it perfectly. perfectly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's huge to the process because it's, it's, a, it's a combination versus having to go look at one color and then go match it to another color. It's exact. All you do is you go to David's Bridal, you get a name. You say Amethyst at Men's Warehouse. We say, oh, yeah, here it is right here. Boom. And then all six guys in line all, have the exact All matching, shape. picture perfect, baby. Right. That way you don't have the one guy that shows up with something kind of like that. It happens. Oh, I know. I know. The picture is the guy. Backyard wedding, baby. (laughs) So, guy walks into Men's Warehouse. You got got a tuxedo for him. You get him measured. What, he's in and out in, what, a half an hour? Yeah, it's a really, really simple process. Like I said, if you set an appointment, it's probably quicker than just walking through the door because sometimes you have to wait. But honestly, if I step in front of you, I greet you, we get your reservation down on the piece of paper, you're out in five minutes. Okay. Talk to me about proms. Exciting. Uh, booming. Uh, we're, we're after it more than ever now. We can dress the kids. We got the exciting looks. We got several colors. We got a great prom rep program that, you know, gives them money back for bringing friends in. So they can either get a free tux and get more money. So it's, it's, it's a win-win. It's a great situation. I, I invite everybody down for their proms. My favorite thing about Men's Warehouse by far is those little certificates you get in the mail after you've gone shopping. $50 gift certificate. How's that work? Loyalty certificate. Yeah. Free money, baby. That's like money in the mail. Free money. Free shirt. Come on in. So for, so for those of you who don't know, you go in and you shop. Let's say for a wedding you're going to spend... Yep. Five hundred well, six tuxedos. You're gonna get what eight hundred nine hundred bucks. Correct. Yeah. So you get a lot of a lot of perks. You do five guys with a free tuxedo or uh, five guys on your wedding party. You get a free tux or a free suit. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's a, that's a kicker. But then when you spend that five hundred, like you said, you get that fifty dollar reward certificate. Comes within like three weeks of your from your purchase. Come in and it's free money. Get those shoes you were eyeballing, or get that extra shirt that we were showing sure. you that you sure. can add to your wardrobe. So. Well, fantastic. I definitely have appreciated getting to know you and talk yeah, about absolutely, clothes. absolutely, man. You're looking good, the, bro. Well, thanks, thanks. So uh, give us your website. Menswarehouse.com, baby. That's all it is. Yep, that's it. All Type right. us up, find us, join our team. Come and looking course, good. Build your self-esteem. You. Yeah, we thank you because you've been supporting the bridal shows. Yep, You're I've the title here. sponsor of the bridal show. That's it. Yep. yep. Men's Warehouse, baby. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, you got it. Brad Buckles at the Tacoma Dome Live with Joseph A. Banks, one of the newest members of the family yes we are brad Absolutely. tell us who you are and well we've got about 620 some odd locations throughout the country but we you are with joseph a bank joseph a banks and your name is alan smith alan Thank is you, with brad. joseph a Thank banks you for pointing and his, that out no problem we got to know who we're talking to absolutely our all of our listeners don't know the face <laughs> Nor can they see it, luckily for them. Yeah, luckily I've got the face for radio, so we'll just leave it audible. But uh, we're at the Tacoma Dome, and uh, we have had tuxedos here for years, but kind of the new takeover is the Men's Warehouse and Joseph A. Banks. Correct. So you guys now work together. We do work in partnership, absolutely. Now, we're still separate, however. Right. So our six locations here in the Seattle area... Um, are still under our own banner and everything like that, so we're, we're in good shape that way. So give us a little bit of information about how Joseph A. Banks would be different than some of the other alternatives for tuxedos. Well, what we have done is we, we've tried to narrow everybody's focus in terms of, of what we're renting to kind of streamline the process. Guys don't like a ton of choices. I agree. So we try to try to narrow that focus. We also try to give our own personal world class customer service. I like that. We like to try to set up. I like that. Apart. So a guy walks into the store, needs an appointment. We, 
we can make an appointment, or he can come in on his own. Okay. If need be as well. You know, it's retail, so sometimes even when we do make the appointments, it's still a little tough to go through. Depending that. on the time of day Correct. or whatever. Correct. But they walk in and they they what? What do they expect? They can come in. We'll give them world class customer service. We'll brief them, show them their different options, whether they either want to rent or purchase. Okay. Um, we have different coupons that go to work as well. With our locations throughout the country, what's nice is that they can pick out their tuxedos at one store. If they have gentlemen elsewhere, those guys can get fit where they are, and then they can all pick up at the same location as well. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So wherever they are in the East Coast, West Coast? Absolutely. Okay, cool. So what kind of tuxedo or formal wear are we looking at at? So what what's we have available? Is we have Vera Wang. Okay. Um, our price points are basically for a complete package, and what that means from shoes to pant to sock, Anything other than basically underwear. Right. About $99 on up to about $199. Okay. Well, what's your sport? It's pretty nice. This is a Vera Wang. So okay. So this is our nice Three-piece. So what this is is we have a slim fit model. That's the slim fit, right? Barely. Most people don't look like he does. <laughs> well. He looks good. Well, the nice thing, though, is that we also can fit guys all the way up to 64 on that as well, too. Size 64. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And just this one. We go up even larger than that, so if we have some bigger gentlemen, not a problem as well. We can make them look sharp as so well. So I question I get a lot of time. I notice you've got a full tie on. Yes. You've got the cravat. Some guys, your uh, buddy over here is wearing the bow tie. Bow tie. What's the, what's the look? preference. Bow tie is generally a little more classic and a little more formal, but it doesn't have to be. Um, if some guys like this longer tie, some guys like the bow tie. So I know that in times past, we've seen colors, we've seen all kinds of craziness. What what are grooms wearing nowadays? Grooms are now doing a little more of a classic type of a look. We're, we, we don't have any blue, like light blue or mm -hmm. orange tuxedos anymore. No more of that, yeah, yes. thank you. Because what we would like is for you to look back at your pictures in 10, 20 years and still be proud of that day and not look like, what was I thinking? What kind of clown dress? Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Yeah. So everything now is a little more classic. Guys also like their suits more fitted. Oh, yeah. So we're doing a lot more of the slim fits and that type of thing as well. So is it you come in and you buy a suit for your wedding or you do you, formal you, wear? Either way. So okay. we, we, we rent and we sell both. Um, a lot of people now, though, are doing a destination wedding. Oh, yeah. So what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll actually purchase suits um, and then have their guys get fit where they are, take the suit, and then you get to keep the suit with you. So what kind of suit programs do you have? Different ones depending on the season okay. and where you're at. So we'll always try to get you the best deal that we possibly can. Sure. Um, our, our best suit normally for a re wedding is our, t is our traveler suit. Okay. 100% uh, wool. We got eight different colors, I believe. Anything from your lightest, like a tan, mm -hmm. all the way up to a black. Yeah, I'm, I'm sporting the linen one. I like the linen. It looks very sharp. Well, actually. thanks. A lot of guys do that as well. Now, the one thing, though, with the linen is sometimes it does get a little wrinkly. Oh, I'm wrinkly. <laughs> I'm wrinkly, but it's but comfortable. But you know that, though. It's, oh, yeah. Some people don't know that about oh, the no, linen. Oh, no. So, no, linen's yeah. going to wrinkle, but the key is to keep it wrinkled and kind of contained. Absolutely. Don't add to it. Exactly. exactly. But depending on where you're going, if you're going to Florida, if you're going to Hawaii or San Diego. Any of the islands, absolutely. Yeah. But now, we also do have a wool suit that is basically the same color. That's going to wear just a little bit better. Okay. Also. It hangs better? Correct. Also, okay. one thing, too, in Seattle, you know, the nice thing about when you purchase a suit, you don't want to have to just wear it once. And what we found is, like, when people do just the linen suits, they'll wear that only once. But if you get a wool suit, even a lighter color, you can wear that multiple times for the year. So they got to loosen for your up, buck. man. I wear my, I wear no, my but, linen every week. But you're fly, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable, man. You get the no socks. You get but the loafers. You, you understand the whole look. Not yeah. a lot of guys understand that whole look and can pull it off. You, well, you're and pulling it off Interestingly well. enough, it, thank you. It's yeah. it's you guys and some of our friends here that have taught me how to do this because yeah. I got no intuitive sense here. Well, the nice thing, like somebody would tell you that, Brad, you know, you can wear this coat with just a nice pair of jeans, a nice white shirt as well. You can mix up the pant, wear that pant just a little bit yeah. by itself as well. So those are all things that we try to help you with. It, it helps because the guys that come in that know fashion know what they want. Exactly. But they could always use some help. Well, and, and most of us think that we know and we don't. And a lot of us I don't know I bet you got anything. some good stories. Uh, we have a few. But I, unfortunately, though, I love all my customers. And no, they're I wonderful. hear you. I hear you. So. We don't want to hear about Sherman yet. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing that I really like is you guys have always, you're talking about world-class service. Yes. You take a guy who might be really shy to even walk oh, in absolutely. and make him feel like a, an all-star when he walks out. Well, you know, I've been doing this for about 10 years guys have gotten a lot smarter and a lot more 
better understanding of fashion, but there's still most guys, we, we still don't know what we're doing. Right. You know, and I'm still learning constantly as well, trying different fits and doing different type of things. That's the fun part is helping out the customer. So what's the biggest thing, on a completely different note, what's the biggest thing, a tip that you can give a guy about fashion if he doesn't know much or he doesn't have a lot of confidence and he's walking in the door feeling a little intimidated, what's the big tip? That's a great question. Basically, my biggest tip would be if you like what you're wearing and you feel good about what you're wearing, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, you're going to pull it off. A lot of guys sometimes are not really sure, but when you put something on, you, if you're honest with yourself and you think that that looks good, that's the best way to go. Be honest with yourself. If you like how it looks, it looks good. It's interesting you say that because I got a tip several years ago to make sure it's really comfortable because if it's something like your favorite jacket or your favorite shirt, you'll wear it a lot. That's true. Now, in, in terms of suits, though, it's a little bit different now because guys are wearing their suits much more fitted. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> it's not so comfortable. <laughs> and it's not as comfortable. Yeah. But as you wear it a little bit, when you're wearing a suit, my thought is do you want to look good or do you want to be comfortable? Both. Exactly. Right. So you want to have that kind of in between how good does it look without it being too tight. Right. But you also don't want it to be too boxy as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I've been really fortunate that I got fitted. I got some good advice. I wear my suits all the time. Absolutely. I would rather wear a suit than not wear a suit. And how often do you hear that? Not very often. But that's the thing, though. I'll, you know, one of the things that I love about guys who are wearing suits is that generally we're on our best behavior. People also treat you just a little bit more respectfully when they see you in a suit That's a as well, fact. too. You know? That's so. a fact. Well, thank you very much. It's been insightful. Brad, always a pleasure, man. You guys do the best job ever. Well, we thanks. You guys. Thanks. We, we, it's fun to do it when we have people like you attend the show. Thank and, you, brother. We love what we do. Yes, you do. Thank you thank very you, much. I appreciate it, buddy. Have, have a good go. day. I'm Brad Buckles with Brides Club back at the Wedding Expo. I have a brand new friend and a beautiful facility to talk about. Please introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Hi, my name is Gwen Ingalls, and I have a wedding venue out towards Gig Harbor. We have 10,000 square feet, and we have 900 feet of waterfront. We can accommodate up to, like, 300 guests. And this is brand new, right? Brand I new mean, this the, year. The facility's been there, but yes. it's brand new to the wedding industry. It's brand new. The home was built in the 1900s, early 1900s, and we're just opening this year for weddings. We've hosted quite a few private events. And now we're ready to start hosting events to the public. So we're here at the Wedding Expo. The name of the venue is? The, uh, the Estate at Vaughn Bay. The Estate. Okay. So tell us about a few things. I mean, besides the beautiful waterfront that I get to see the photos of, what what's the inside like? What's the characteristic of the facility? The home is beautiful. It's very uh, relaxed. It's like a Hampton-style home. So it's very sprawling, three levels, and we can fit up to 20 to 30 people because it's so large. Um, there's also a guest house that can act as like a honeymoon suite, and it even has a two-person jacuzzi. I like that. The other <laughs> thing that I like about it a lot is that they have accommodations for overnight. Definitely. So a lot you can come and... Yes. Party all night and keep partying. Definitely. A lot of people have asked if they can do their bachelor party there with like a party bus and then come back, do a rehearsal dinner and have the family and friends stay out there. That's cool. Yeah. So you've been open for a couple hours here at the show. What kind of feedback are you getting? It is amazing. The brides have been wonderful, and I love that a lot of them are already looking for next year. So that's great. <laughs> Told you, 2017 is alive and kicking in the wedding industry. Absolutely. When the doors opened, they all came in, and I couldn't believe how many were waiting. <laughs> yeah, we had a line out the door almost all the way to the, the uh, what am I trying to say, the the walkway. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw the line when I drove up. <laughs> so give us your website address. Okay, it is theestateatvombay.com. And we are up and live, so the website looks great. And then we also have a Facebook page. And Von Bay is V-A-U-G-H-N. <laughs> G-H-N. Okay. Yes. And you're on Facebook? Yes. All right. We will come see you. And those of you who are coming to the Tacoma Dome, look for... Uh, Look for her booth on the main aisle. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Brad Buckles with BridesClub.com back at the Tacoma Dome. This is the Spring Wedding Expo, and I have a new friend that's going to talk to us about a couple of things. Introduce yourself and give us your web address. Hi, I'm Katie with Giorgio's, and our website is Giorgio'sCatering.com. Spelled? G-E-O-R-G-I-O-S. C-A-T-E-R-I-N-G. I-N-G. There you go. Sometimes people don't know how to spell Giorgio's. As crazy totally. as that sounds. So Giorgio's is new. 
Yes, we are a new catering company, but we've been around for a really long time. Our team has worked together for over 16 years, and we are a one-stop shop, full-service catering and events company. and which offer is, Which is important because you guys have all this experience for everybody who's probably not hired a caterer before. Totally, and we are willing to go the extra mile. Well, we will book your venue walkthroughs for you, handle your rentals, introduce you to other people in the industry. We're a member of the Tacoma chapter for NACE, and we also do a wonderful job with being their date of and really taking care of all those important details for our brides. And we only book one wedding per day. And the best part is, Brad, is our planning services are complimentary with our catering. Which is funny, you snuck NACE in. That's where I was going to go next. Totally. NACE is an acronym for National Association of Catering Executives, which is like a big, massive party on Tuesday nights at Tacoma. <laughs> Everybody comes together, drinks, and eats. What is the really cool part for you about being a member of NACE, and why does it matter? For Personally, for myself, there are so many different members of NACE that I have known for just my whole life. Angie Mingus, Marnie Jackson... Everybody that's there, they just have been such intricate key parts of what has created my passion for why I love this industry so much. And when we get together and Bill's there from Act 3 Catering and we're all together in the same room, we really get to support each other and we get to be a community. And it's not just a bunch of planners. It's not just a bunch of caterers. It's a bunch of people that are supporting each other every single day. You're speaking life into each other. You're helping each other out. You're giving each other referrals. It just creates a really positive atmosphere, and it's been a really uplifting experience. I agree. I mean, I'm not even a caterer, and I've been a member of NACE. In fact, I'm a member in three different cities. But it's fun because we get to kind of turn off all the sales part and just talk behind the scenes about good and bad and challenging and new trends. and Totally. How to do things, how to make things work. You know, if you are in a pickle, you call your friend from NACE, and they come in and they help you out. It's that's, awesome. That's the best part about it is you guys will compete for the dollar on yes. a party, but somebody can't make it because they're pregnant and they're having a bad day. Totally. And all of a sudden, your competitor is now your chef. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you compete, and it's fun, but it's all in good sport, and at the end of the day, we have each other's backs. Right. So. It's also fun because we get to kind of know who's who and what's what. Yes. <laughs> and we get to call the trends, which is mm -hmm. always fun. What kind of new trends are you seeing coming out this spring? Oh, man. Well, I really love the colors of the year. They remind me of, honestly, Disney movies because um, you have that beautiful blue and then you have that pink. But I really think that things are going to go from rustic to really more of a clean, rustic look. Like having things being very elegant in presentation. And that's kind of what I'm seeing coming out with all of our fun venues that you have. Um, there's quite a few venues in the Pierce County area that are in their first season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so it's really wonderful to see that coming out for brides. And then having the opportunity to do that sales point. And then for us, with Giorgio's, it's so much fun because we get to be involved in every single aspect for our brides. We were just talking to a state at Von Bay who just broke open. And they're just coming out. And they're excited. And they, they've been here literally for two hours talking to brides for the first time. And they're oh, just ecstatic. That. Have you been over there to see that? No, but I am going to go over there next. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but that's one of the benefits of NACE is that you get a chance to bring them in. Yeah. They get exposed to a whole group of people that they don't even know exist. We're all there waiting for new blood. So when they come in, it's like, totally. go talk to them. Exactly. And, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. I think everybody should join and everybody should be a part of it. And at the end of the day, it's you get to meet amazing people. And you get to have fun doing what you love. One of the great things I wish I could get brides to ask, because it's really important, is, you know, are you professional? How many years mm -hmm. have you been in business? What are your prices? And are you a NACE member? Totally. Because if a wedding professional is a NACE member, mm -hmm. that's one more thing that should confirm to her that they're professional. Totally. Because to be a NACE member, you, you have a ton of information easily at your fingertips. You have the ability to network and ask questions. You're licensed. You have experience. And you have a community that's also supporting you. And you can go and ask those questions and do that re those research for those brides. So it's important. A lot of people don't know about NACE. And we really need to get it out there and let people know to join and be a part of it. We try. I mean, you're here this year for the first time, which yeah. is great. The other thing that's really nice about NACE is it's one of the only organizations that actually has annual professional training which is huge considering the wedding industry mm -hmm. doesn't have that. 
Yeah, it's research and development is one of the most important things that you can do as a wedding planner or as a caterer. And you have to constantly push yourself and you have to have that drive. And when you're a part of NACE, they naturally support you and create that opportunity. When you're on your own, it's hard. But So you are planning your own party. I'm going to give you a little <laughs> bit of hypothetical. You're planning your own party. You've got limited budget. Mm -hmm. Where would you throw your next corporate party here in Pierce County? Oh, man. Honestly, you know, the Tin Can Room just opened, okay. and they're in their first season, and you've got PJ Hummel down there. But I would, if it was limited budget, though. I'm just I, saying worst case scenario. If you have a big budget, you can do a lot of things. If you have a limited budget and you want something unique, go. What would you do? I would go to a community park and run it out, pipe and drape, hire my own security, and then I would use my NACE community for a networking to support me in getting it done and planning it. And that would be the most efficient way to do something new. And then you'd have unlimited resources just with your community and your friends. And you'd be taking advantage of all the beautiful weather we're having. <laughs> totally. Outdoor parties are the yeah. best. In the Pacific Northwest, yeah. we have the most beautiful summers. Well, thank you very much. Give us your web address again and how we can get in touch with you. What phone number? My cell number is 253-495-9654, and our website is georgioscatering.com. That's G-E-O-R-G-I-O-S-C-A-T-E-R-I-N-G.com. And if you're coming down to the Tacoma Dome, look for the NACE booth, which is down by the stage. And come say hi. Thank you so much.